I'm Tammy Joe with another WPI Technique. Today we're going to show you how to set up a two-channel horizontal tissue bath. Before setting up the horizontal tissue bath, carefully unwrap each piece before beginning. The base plate is heavy, so assembly requires two people. Do not set this equipment up by yourself. Position the base with the force transducer calibration stand in the front. Tilt the base plate up and let a friend hold it in place. Then, insert a screw from the back side of the base plate into one of the pseudo cuvette mounting post holes. Screw the mounting post into position and tighten it with a hex key. Install the second mounting post in the same manner. While a friend holds the base plate, insert two cuvette post screws through the back side of the base plate into the cuvette mounting post holes. The cuvette mounting post latches should face to the front and rear of the base plate. Align the screw holes on the cuvette mounting post with the holes on the base plate. Install the second cuvette mounting post in similar fashion. Be sure that the cuvette latches do not point toward the center of the base plate when they are installed. After installing the mounting posts, carefully set the base plate down on a flat surface with the calibration stand, which is the front of the base plate, facing you. Remove the thumb screw on the upright cuvette mounting post. Align the cuvette with the upright mounting post and the pseudo cuvette post. Slide the cuvette over the two mounting posts and into position. Pinch the cuvette latch together with one hand and gently press down with the other hand. Release the latch so that it holds the cuvette in the lower position. Reinstall the thumb screw in the top of the cuvette mounting post. In a similar manner, install the second cuvette assembly on the opposite side of the base plate. The cuvettes are installed so that the cuvette latches face the outside of the base plate where they are accessible when you're ready to mount tissues. Slide the pseudo cuvette over the pseudo cuvette mounting post. The pseudo cuvette can be used when mounting tissues. Before you rotate the pseudo cuvette into position for use, verify that the cuvette is latched in the lower position and be careful of any mounting hooks as you rotate. Position the micrometer assemblies, or motor assemblies, on the right side of the base plate so that the mounting slots on the micrometer align with the holes in the base plate. Make sure that the digital displays of the micrometers face the front of the, of the base plate. Use four holes and insert four thumb screws through the slots on the base of the micrometer assembly and into the screw holes. The position of the micrometer is flexible depending on the screw holes you choose and how you position the micrometer assembly. When the micrometer is in the position, tighten the thumb screws. In a similar way, mount the second micrometer or motor assembly next to the first. To install the force transducer, remove the protective covers from the force transducer. Loosen the two screws on the top of the KG force transducer. Remove the two small screws on the face of the force transducer mount and remove the cover. Position the force transducer in its mount. Tighten the two force transducer screws to hold it in place. Reinstall the cover and secure it with the two screws. Position the assembled force transducer stands on the left side of the base plate so that the mounting slots on the stand align with the holes in the base plate. The force transducer mount must face the cuvette. Insert four thumb screws through the mounting slots of the stand and into the four holes on the left side of the base plate. Slide the force transducer mount into the position you prefer and finger tighten the screws. Install the second force transducer stand using the same method.
The horizontal tissue bath is now assembled. Once you install the mounting hooks, run the plumbing and connect the electronics. The tissue bath is ready for research. Thanks for watching another WPI Technique.